So after receiving a lot of comments, about a hundred or so, I'm finally going to be revealing the secret about how I found my art style and teaching you guys how you can find yours as well. So let's get straight into this. Hey Magical Sparks, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here. And if you're new, hi there, hello, and this is roughly how my art style looks. It's a bit cartoonish, a tiny bit anime-ish in some sense, and overall it's lots of fun. And today I'm going to show you guys just how I got here and pretty much how I found my art style and how I go about changing it when I feel the need to do so and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get into this. So to start this off, we're going to try and get into my mind and how I kind of was when I was trying to find my art style as a very, very new beginner artist. Starting it off, one of the things that I liked was how I used to draw in a smaller sketchbook and that kind of took a bit of the pressure off from me so we're gonna be switching to a smaller sketchbook to again just mimic my beginner artist self so the very first step is to let your heart lead the way now that sounds a bit confusing but hold on and let me explain so for the very first step I want you guys to set a timer for five minutes and have that right in front of you and now you're gonna try and brainstorm a bunch of random art styles change things up as you go draw whatever you feel like drawing just experiment with a bunch of crazy art styles in the end it does not have to look good it does not have to look neat it does not have to look nice just make sure that you are experimenting and trying out a bunch of different things and try to keep each art style distinct from the other now the purpose of this crazy yet fun activity is just to see how much you can think outside of the box and just to see what kind of art style you might be leaning towards. Now you don't have to pick one specific art style from these little brainstorms, but instead you can do what I did here. So I chose different features from that art style. So that actually brings us to step number two, which is called stylize and customize. So I'm going to go back to my very first brainstorm and I'm going to look at what I like from each drawing. For example, from the first drawing, I love how the mouth looks. From the second one, I love the nose. And the third one, I like the eyes. So there you go. Now I know what I like and what I don't like that much. Now the next step is going to be trying to just come up with a bunch of different variations of these different elements. Now if you're someone like me who likes to draw people, then I would recommend coming up with different variations of eyes, noses, and mouths. But if you're someone who's experimenting with a more painterly art style, maybe experiment with different types of textures and lighting. Or if you like drawing animals, experiment with other kind of stuff. But the entire purpose here is to break down the elements of your drawing. For example, a human face, which mainly contains things such as eyes, noses, and mouths. Well, technically one nose per face, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, let me break it down for you in simple. You pretty much want to take different features from your drawing. For example, like I said, with a face, that means the eyes, nose, and mouth. And then you're going to go ahead and stylize each of these features, making them look different and stuff. You're going to customize it however you want. Think of it as like customizing your ice cream and and picking the flavor, picking the toppings, picking the sauce that you want on top, like is it chocolate, is it strawberry, what kind of sprinkles do you want? Think of it like that. You have so many options before you right now because of this brainstorm, and since you've tried everything, now you can go ahead and pick out what you specifically like. But also keep in mind that you don't need to limit yourself to the same style, you just need to do what makes you happy. And that is pretty much what it is. Like in step one, you are just brainstorming different art styles from imagination. And in step two, you're brainstorming different features of your art style. Now in step three, this is the fun part because this is when you get to play with different stages and features. Again, let me explain. Now, regardless of what you are into and what type of art you make, I bet your art style or your process definitely has stages. So we're going to unpack my stages. So the very first stage in my art typically is sketching. So I want you guys to play around with how you sketch. Do you make things dark? Do you make things light? Do you want to include guidelines? Do you not want to? Things like that. The next step for me is called the line art stage. Now with this part, you can experiment with different things such as thickness and line weight. How do you want your lines to look? Do you want them to have different kind of thicknesses? Do you want maybe your outline to have an outline around it at the very edge of the character? Now right now, the things I'm listing are just examples of potential things you could play around with and experiment with. But keep in mind, you do not have to do all of this in one shot. You can go ahead and do it gradually over time 
time or you can dedicate one day to it and just experiment with a bunch of different art styles that is completely up to you because you can decide how fast or slow you want to take this but if you're going to opt for the faster way then i would recommend just dedicating one page again to brainstorming and experimenting with different ways of sketching doing line art and doing coloring just so you get an idea of the options and what you like and what you don't like that actually brings us to the coloring stage. Now at this point you could experiment with things such as your art supply. Do you want to just not color your drawings? Do you want to use inks, markers, watercolors, paints? And you can experiment with things such as order. For example, sketching, line art, then coloring, or coloring and then the line art on top. Either way, it's your choice. Something else that would also be lots of fun to play around with is just how you want to shade. Do you want to have like smooth shading kind of like this or do you want to have kind of like an abstract art style where you pretty much have the base color and then a separate color just on top as shadows and stuff. There's so many options and there are so many fun, fun things to experiment with. I literally cannot list them all, but in the end, just make sure that you try out as many things as you can think of and step outside the box because part of finding your art style is being ready to experiment and try a bunch of new things without worrying about how it turns out. So this is your turn to really, really have a lot of fun and kind of just be a kid again and just experience all that curiosity and trying a bunch of new things with your art ultimately finding your art style doesn't have to be something that's stressing or scary you can make it really really fun depending on how you go about it and that brings me to step four which has the biggest name but happens to be the most fun step out of all the steps and it is just to experiment have fun be yourself and not to feel limited now with step four i want you guys to be very very brave because we're just gonna jump straight into this and start playing around with your new art style by the way just a reminder that you don't need to have an art style and even if you do that should not stop you from having fun and drawing other things because don't think that you always 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 have to draw in your art style because obviously you can always experiment and have fun which is exactly what step four is okay so now i'm going to be talking about step four then i'm going to be talking more about art styles and then finally i'm going to be talking about this sketchbook page and the process now let's be honest having those negative thoughts that my art style is not good i'm never going to have a good art style or stuff like that are not going to get you anywhere in the end what is going to get you somewhere is learning and being brave and experimenting so even if your art style or new art style just looks weird at the beginning or it just doesn't look like how you wanted it to look or how you imagine that it might look don't be discouraged because you will get there because you have a vision and because of that you are going to turn out drawing something amazing even though it will take time in the end just be kind to yourself just be nice to yourself and let yourself take that time obviously you can go ahead and rush this process and do it in one day or you can take your time do it in a month or you can stay in the middle and take about a week to do it everybody's different but my point is just try not to be discouraged and gradually start implementing different elements of your art style and after each drawing look at what you liked what you didn't like and then go ahead and either do that good thing in your next drawing or don't do that thing that you didn't like in your next drawing that is how you learn and that is how you're going to ultimately develop your art style in a lot of my old sketchbooks you can actually see me playing around with my art style and i have like some annotations and stuff in some places about what i liked what i didn't like or sometimes it was just a mental note either way reflecting is good during this process and by the way if you would like to see how i developed my art style then maybe go ahead and check out my first sketchbook tour of 2022 if you're interested because in that sketchbook i did kind of go through the process of changing my art style and i did make a couple of like different sketches and stuff and yeah you can pretty much see how i did that in that sketchbook tour and that's pretty much that so before i go ahead and talk more about this sketchbook page i want to talk a bit more about art styles so the very first thing is that art style can refer to anything it can even refer to even just your general process of creating art like you don't have to draw humans you can draw animals or landscapes but your art style kind of just refers to what makes you unique or what makes your process a bit more unique and distinct next up you can take inspiration to help you find your art style inspiration 
is something you can find quite literally anywhere. You can find inspiration from daily life and the things you see around you. You can find inspiration from your favorite artists or your favorite artworks. Go ahead and find inspiration because that's a really great way to find different ways that you want your art style to look so you get a bit of an idea of what you're aiming for. And something else is that it is totally fine not to have an art style because that is awesome as well. If you're someone who likes to draw different things in different styles each and every single time, I love that. I'm so happy for you and in no way am I saying that art styles are compulsory or necessary to be an artist because you can be an amazing spectacular artist and person without having to worry about art styles as well. Next up, just a quick reminder, if you're someone who likes to draw with guidelines or if you're someone who likes to draw with the right proportions that correspond to real life, go for it. Or if you're someone who does not like to do that, don't do it. Your art can be realistic, it can be cartoonish, it can be whatever, whatever you want it to be as long as you're having fun and as long as you are enjoying the process. Also keep in mind that art styles can always change. You don't need to feel the need to be consistent each and every single time with the same art style unless you want to because just keep in mind that your art style is allowed to change and grow as you progress throughout your art journey and again, that is totally fine as well. And sometimes it might even change without you knowing because you're just improving that fast and that well, which again is amazing. Also, finding or having an art style is not something that should stop you from having fun and learning. So always feel free to step away from your art style for a second and experiment and have fun. You don't always have to do the same thing again and again if you don't want to. And if you want, obviously you can go ahead and change your art style at any point in time. And also this video is just a general kind of overview of my thought process when it comes to finding or changing my art style. And your thought process or method does not have to be the exact same or even similar because obviously we are all on our own art journeys and we all learn and develop in different ways. But I hope this video might be able to help at least one person out. Also, if you have managed to watch this far into the video without skipping or forwarding, you are truly a legend and you are amazing thank you so much for being amazing comment this emoji down below to let me know and with that everybody we are down to the last couple of minutes of this video and i think it's only fair that we talk about this sketchbook page because boy oh boy am i so glad i filmed it this sketchbook page is my favorite page in this sketchbook and it is definitely my favorite page ever because i love every single thing about it i am not sure if you can tell by my voice but this sketchbook page Page is something that I'm genuinely so excited to share with you guys because I love it so so much and it's so crazy how I came up with this idea so I pretty much saw my sister's mermaid Barbie doll or something and I was like wow that's a pretty color combo then I came to my desk and I just like started sketching with a marker and I was like okay let's draw a seashell and then I colored it pink and then I added an aqua background and from there that's where I got like a bunch of random inspiration to just keep on going and somehow everything from that point on went perfectly. So as you can see I drew a girl with the same kind of color combination and then I added a fun little background and some fun little designs and then I thought why not go ahead and draw a couple more seashells and I also started sketching with markers which was so much fun. I genuinely love sketching with markers. I think I I might turn it into a more consistent thing now because of how fun it is and then you know everything from that point on just went perfectly and guess what at the end i drew a mermaid as well crazy anyways though is it just not the best thing when everything just works out so well and everything just turns out so nice i love that feeling anyways though just a quick update on a bunch of random things so i'm pretty much about halfway through my sketchbook i kind of got into an art block but then i was able to get out of it in a day which is shocking i was meant to post a video last week but i didn't have time so that's why this video is up today and also somehow that video i recorded with mr june the little halloween shorts drawing challenge somehow suddenly reached 2 million views which is crazy and now we are at like 126,000 subscribers all the way from 100,000 in like a week or two weeks which is so so crazy 
but thank you guys so so much for all the support and love these last couple of days and these last two years it genuinely means the world to me also i really hope that this video might be able to help you find your art style or maybe kind of give you guidance and kind of help you to start on your journey of finding your art style or maybe it will just inspire you to get out of an art block or something or to play with your art more either way i hope this video actually helps some people out at least because that would make me very very happy and this was the point where i decided to keep on going with the kind of aquatic theme and draw a mermaid because why not and obviously i used the exact same markers and exact same colors for this drawing as well and that way the entire page looked so good together everything just made sense everything was perfect and that made me very very happy and guess what in this sketchbook page i was kind of experimenting with line art by using different colors and kind of experimenting with line weight and now this has helped me to discover that i actually love using a purple pen to do the outlining and then kind of adding a bit of thickness with a blue pen i guess i might kind of implement this with more of my future drawings but yeah there we go a real life example of experimenting with your art and hence finding more creativity also i kind of went all out with the white highlights today but honestly when can highlights ever be too much am i right honestly when it comes to me i love doing the highlights and there is nothing that is going to stop me because it is honestly one of the best stages of the drawing process and for me one of the most satisfying stages because that is when everything comes together and everything just looks amazing and it's also really fun and chill anyways guys here is how the final sketchbook page turned out and here is how it looks from a bunch of different angles i hope you guys love it as much as i do because genuinely i loved creating this page and i loved making this video and again i hope that it might have helped someone out also if you've watched the entire video make sure to comment the special emoji down below and also comment down below what your favorite color palette is because i think this color palette might be my new favorite one anyways guys thank you so much for watching have a fabulous day Stay awesome as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!